The Dodgers postgame show continues now from Dodger Stadium, where for the second straight night, Andre Ethier is the hero. Last night, it's a game-winning RBI double. Today, it's a walk-off home run in the bottom of the 12th inning as the Dodgers win it 3-2. I'm Josh Asushan down in the dugout with Andre. Two straight nights, six times in the last two years, you've hit a walk-off hit to win a game for the Dodgers. What is it about those moments that you like so much? Uh, it's just a moment that you want to crave. You want to crave that intensity. You want to crave that moment. And it was fun to be there. And uh, you, know, you got to stay in the moment in those situations and uh, just have fun with it and, uh, you know, smile and grit your teeth through the whole thing. How about that at bat? You fell off a couple of tough pitches to stay alive. You laid off one pitch there to get it 3-2. Take us through that at bat. I'm um, just up there battling and uh, getting the job done. And, uh, you know, he threw some quality pitches and, uh, you know, took a, took a couple good quality pitches there early and, you know, kind of let some good balls go by to take a swing at. But, uh, you know, stayed in the bat and had fun with it. Once the ball left the bat, did you think it was gone, or were you a little concerned that he might be able to run it down in center? Um, when I hit it, I thought I put a good swing on it. I didn't know. A lot of balls have been holding in today. Howard and a couple other guys put good swings on stuff to center that didn't go out. And, uh, you know, fortunately, I got enough back to get it out. And don't worry. No one's behind you is going to put shaving cream in your face. Don't worry. How did you survive yesterday's beating and Matt Kemp putting shaving cream in your face? A lot of eye drops. A lot of eye drops. All right. And final question for you. Raphael for a calls home run that ties it up in the ninth inning. On the bench, did you guys get fooled by Jason Worth and think that it might have been caught? Um, yeah. You know, we were looking, and uh, he looked like he had the ball, and we were kind of all standing there waiting and, and uh, you know, on our heels and toes. And all of a sudden, uh, we saw the crowd start cheering, and it was uh, – you know, a good moment right there. Well, once again, great job. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. That is Dodgers outfielder Andre Ethier. And for being a guest on the Dodger postgame show, Andre will receive a $100 gift card to ESPN Zone at LA Live. Test your skills in their sports arena or immerse yourself in the ultimate viewing environment in the screening room and studio grill. ESPN Zone at LA Live, where they know LA sports fans best. Coming up next on the Dodger postgame show, Rick Monday will get you the out-of-town scoreboard. This is is the Los Angeles Dodgers Radio Network. The Dodgers postgame show continues now from Dodger Stadium where the Dodgers are victorious 7-5 to over the Cincinnati Reds. I'm Josh Sushan down in the dugout with catcher Russell Martin who had a big game with three singles, a walk, and two runs scored. But the story of the night was Jason Schmidt making his first start in over two years. Russell, you were with him in the pregame meeting when you go over hitters, warming him up. What was your sense of his mood coming into this big start for him? Uh, I think he was a little bit nervous, you know, hadn't pitched in, in the big leagues for a while. But, uh, you know, he's a veteran. He knows what he has to do to get prepared. So, uh, you know, I, I thought that, uh, you know, our preparation was good. Then going up in the first inning, obviously it wasn't, you know, picture perfect, but and not necessarily how we planned it. But he battled through it. We got him some runs in that bottom half. And then it, it, he, he seemed to, you know, settle down nicely after that, just executing pitches and uh, trusting the plan that we had. And speaking of that first inning, there's a bunch of balls hit to uh, right field and center field in which uh, it seemed like the outfielders struggled to see the ball, which we don't see very often. I know you're behind home play, but what did you see was going on over there? Um, probably just, uh, you know, the glare with the stands. And, and just at that time when the sun's going down, sometimes it's hard to read the ball off the bat. And it was happening on both sides too. So, uh, you know, right before the sun goes down, it's kind of hard to read the ball off the bat, and that's all I think it was. And overall, I mean, uh, we knew that the fastball wasn't going to be what Schmidt had earlier in his career, but the breaking ball, the change, the, uh, what did you think of his uh, performance overall? Uh, I liked it. I thought he was throwing his breaking ball over nicely for strikes, uh, using his changeup well, and he was locating his fastball, and that, that was the main thing, really, his fastball command. After that first inning, it was pretty nice. All right, well, thanks for your time, Russell. Thanks for having me. Uh, but we still have another guest as well, Jason Schmidt, also joining on the postgame show. And, Jason, your first start in over two seasons – did it kind of feel like your first start in the big leagues, or what were your emotions like tonight? Uh, you know, all the way getting to the ballpark, yeah, it felt just like my very first outing in the big leagues. Uh, but actually, you know, when I got on the mound for the first time, I wasn't as nervous as I thought I was going to be. It felt, you know, familiar, but my arm was overly loose, and I think that was kind of the anxiety kicking in. And, you know, once the second inning rolled around, and I don't want to say that I felt better, but things just kind of clicked, clicked a little bit more. And certainly after that first batter, is it a home run? Is it a triple? You have to wait even more as they go to review it. I, I guess the arm got even more loose after that first batter. Yeah, you know, that's, that was not the way that I wanted to start it. You know, I kind of wanted to dig a hole out there after that first couple of hitters. And, uh, yeah, I thought it was a home run. You know, I'm over here, you know, hanging my head. I looked up, the guy sliding into third base, and here comes Dusty Baker. I'm looking at Dusty going, I haven't pitched in two years. Don't argue. Just go back to the dugout, you know. So, uh, you know, I'm glad I was a triple, but I guess, uh, you know, hey, it is what it is. So once you got through that first inning, and obviously I'm sure it helped with 
your teammates scoring you four runs, but how much were you able to just kind of breathe and settle into the game again? Well, you know, when they came back and scored the runs, I mean, that was huge. That's huge for any pitcher. And uh, it gave me a little bit of breathing room, helped me relax a little bit, a little extra time in the dugout. And I mean, we just kind of sit in and take in the moment. Where I was like, hey, you know what? We're going to score some runs here. You know, I got, I got some room for air. And, and uh, you know, it was great. It's great being on a team like this. And then you definitely settled down in the third inning, just a five-pitch inning. At that point, did you feel like, all right, I'm back. I can do this. I can get hitters out. Or what, what was your thought process as, you, as the outing continued? You know, I don't even know if I really had a thought process or not. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out who I am out there right now. So uh, I'm just out there. I, I went off Russell, you know, whatever he put down. I just kind of went with and said, you know, we're going we're gonna to see what we got tonight. And, and that's kind of what I did. I kept it simple, and, and uh, Russ called a great game and, and uh, kept me in it. And then uh, now, obviously, uh, you're feeling good right now. Is a big test how the arm's going to feel tomorrow or after what you've done in the minor leagues? Do you know that it's going to feel fine tomorrow? Um, you know, I've had a good little stretch here lately. I've been feeling pretty good, so I'm pretty confident I'll feel good tomorrow. You know, it's just, you know, we, we, who knows what we're going to get. I'm just kind of kind of taking in the moment for now anyway, hoping not, not looking forward to tomorrow. <laughs> and then final question for you, just how much are you going to savor about just this night and how long it took you and how much work that it took pretty much every day for over two years to get back here? You know, it's it's been a great night, and uh, I was really nervous coming in, and, you know, the first inning I thought, you know, I thought that was it. And uh, just, you know, the way that everything went out, it built up a lot of drama and, you know, the friends and the family calling and the teammates, uh, the response from them has been incredible. And it's just, you know, it's, it's almost like your first start in the Bay Leagues and it's something I'll definitely never forget. Um, it's just, it was a great way to come back and, and pitch in Dodger Stadium of all places. Where else would you want to do it? Well, thanks for your time and welcome back to the Big Leagues. Thank you. All right, that is Jason Schmidt. In addition to Russell Martin, both of them for being a guest on the Dodger Post Game Show, receive a $100 gift card for food and games to the ESPN Zone at LA Live. ESPN Zone at LA Live, where they know LA sports fans best. Coming up next on the Dodger Post Game Show, Rick Monday will get you the out of town scoreboard. This is the Los Angeles Dodgers Radio Network.